Hey, what's going on everybody? Today is the next installment of our Adulting 101 series. Last week, you all saw Dr. Zapata fold a fitted sheet, um, which uh, I'll be honest, we live together and I still can't figure out how to do it. It's still, it's still magic to me no matter how many times I try. Uh, so today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to show you how to change a tire. Um, she was telling me that something like 60% of people out there have never changed a tire or don't know how to change a tire. And I thought that was a little bit crazy myself, but that's probably because I'm kind of a super big car nerd. So uh, we figured that we would show you, walk you through the steps of how to change a tire. Uh, and we're doing something a little bit different today. Christine's behind the camera and I'm in front of the camera. So. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna be changing the tire on this 1996 Mazda Miata. Well, not this one, this one. And so I guess to start with, you know, there's two ways to change a tire. There's the easy way and there's the hard way. Let's start with the easy way. Let me show you how, let me show you how the easy way works, okay? So this is what I think a lot of our preferred method is, if we're being honest with ourselves. It goes a little something like this. Yeah, hello, AAA. My car broke. I don't know what's wrong with it. The tire's flat. I don't know what to do. Come get me. Yeah. What? Six hours? Six hours? I can't wait here. Uh, okay, fine, I'll do it myself. So that's the first way, because I know everybody is probably thinking, well, I just use AAA, I just use roadside assistance. And uh, I'm not gonna lie, we have AAA, and um, that would probably oftentimes be my first method if we were somewhere where it was easy to, easy to do. But that's not always the case. I have found myself in situations where uh, it is, obscenely long to get somebody to come out to uh, to help you out. So I guess we're gonna show you the second way and we're gonna do it ourselves. So what we're gonna do um, is just kind of walk you through the process of how this how this works, uh, kind of some safety tips um, and uh, how to use what you have with your car to change your tire. There's all kinds of equipment we could use but we're gonna try and do this in a manner that are, is really just um, what you would have if you were on the side of the road. So um, first thing, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our owner's manual. And if you don't know where your owner's manual is, it will almost always live in your glove box. This is mine. Owner's manual. In here, uh, it's gonna show you basically step-by-step -step how to change your tire. And so there's some important things in here that you're gonna want to review before you start the process. So number one, it's gonna tell you where the equipment is located. So um, every car is a little bit different, but most cars are gonna have the basic necessities that are required to change a tire. So that's gonna be all in here. It's also gonna give you some safety tips. It's gonna help. The other thing that's super important that you're gonna learn from your owner's manual is actually where it's safe to jack up your car. Um, there are a lot of things underneath a car uh, that look like reasonable flat points where you could put a jack, uh, but the reality is there's generally only a handful of specialized points that are reinforced to handle a car being jacked up. As a matter of fact, if we were to look underneath this car, uh, somewhere in its previous life, uh, someone jacked this thing up, but maybe like a Jiffy Lube or something like that, and they jacked it uh, using the wrong points, and so one of the frame rails is actually um, partially kind of bent in and deformed and so that's what can happen if you use um, a non-specified point on your car to jack up so that's all going to be located in here so that's step number one step number two is to get all the things you're going to need so for that we're going to head into the truck um, most cars, generally speaking, uh, your jack, your spare tire, your tire iron, everything that you need is gonna be in your trunk. Uh, that's the case for me. I've already kind of got everything out, so I don't have to wrestle with it since we're 
trying to do this live. Uh, but here's what I'm pulling out. Number one, this is a jack. It's pretty standard jack. A lot of cars will have something similar to this. Um, there are other types of jacks, uh, and different cars may have different types of jacks, but they all serve the same purpose. So this is the jack. This is our lug wrench. And if you notice, it is absolutely beautiful. It's 25 years old and rusty. Um, not what I would call a good lug wrench, but again, this is what's in the car. So we're going to make do. This is what we're going to use. And then, uh, this guy here, I actually have no idea what this is called. Don't have the slightest clue, but it just hooks into the jack so that you can raise and lower it. Somebody could probably tell me what this is, but it's a metal rod thingy. That's what we're going to call it. Uh, and then last is the spare tire. We got the spare tire in here. Uh, today I'm not going to get the spare tire out. I'm just going to take this tire off and then, and then remount it. But the process would be the same. So that's step two. Get out your stuff. Before you start the process, obviously you want to make sure you have everything that you're going to need. So we'll get all that set up. Now, uh, next step, before we start touching anything on the car, super important, is we got to keep some safety things in mind. Okay. So first and foremost, uh, if you're going to change a tire, you want to be on as level ground as you possibly can. You don't want to do it on a steep incline. Um, you don't really want to do it around on a really narrow road. If you get, if you're at a bend in the road where somebody can't see you or somebody, you know, you, you, you want to take into account other traffic and things like that. So flat level ground is ideal parking lot, something like that. Um, number two, we want to make sure that the car is not going to roll away on us or come off the jack. So we don't want it to move when we're changing the tire, right? That's bad. So we want to make sure that you have your emergency brake set. So make sure your emergency brake is tight. Uh, if your car is an automatic transmission, you're going to put it in park. Um, in this case, it's a manual transmission, so we're just going to put it in first gear. So first gear, handbrake on tight. Um, so that's all you got to do in here. Next thing, if you want to come around over here, whichever tire we're going to change, in this case, we're changing the back left tire. So that means we want to put something uh, in front of the diagonally opposite tire. So the front right tire. And so um, this is something if you have like wheel chocks or something with you, that's great. You can use that. Um, but there are other things that will work just fine. And in our case, for this purpose, we're going to use just uh, a couple pieces of wood. You can also use big rock or a brick or something like that. But the idea is to secure this, this diagonally opposite tire so that it doesn't go anywhere when you jack the car up. Again, you've got the, you got the car in park or in first gear. You've got the emergency brake set. This is kind of just another level of safety. And I'm just going to put something on both sides. But if you only have one, you'd want to put it on the front if you're changing the back tire. Okay, so that's that. So now I think we get to actually start the process and change this tire. And we're gonna see if this 25 year old jack on this car made of tin <laughs> is gonna work. So, first step uh, when you're starting to change your tire is you're gonna want to loosen your lug nuts. Um, you definitely want to loosen these lug nuts when the car is on the ground uh, because for one thing it's going to be much easier and much safer um, and uh, yeah actually it's just going to be much easier and much safer. I don't think you'd want to do it when the car is in the air, the tires going to move, it's going to be a mess. So don't do that. Um, on this car, the lug nuts, there are four right here. Um, this car has no center cap, so there's nothing covering these, so they're, they're easily accessible. Um, in some cars, you may have a center cap that's covering these so that you can't see them. Um, if that's the case, usually on your lug wrench, um, on this side you can see there's a flat piece here. So this will help you if you have a center cap just to kind of, just to pop it off, pry it off. They're usually pretty easy to get off. Um, but once you have the lug nuts exposed, uh, then you can go ahead and uh, loosen them. You don't need to take them off. We don't want to take them off. We want to leave them on. Uh, but what we what we want to do is we just want to loosen them about a quarter of a turn. And so this can be, admittedly, this can be a little bit difficult. Um, a lot of times if you uh, take your car to a shop or you get your tires changed, 
when they put your tires on, when they mount them, they may mount them with an impact gun, which basically means that these bad boys are on here tight. Um, and it can be really hard to get something off, especially with a tiny little lug wrench like this. Uh, so we're gonna see how this goes. And one last tip uh, when you're removing these, uh, these lug nuts is you wanna remove them or loosen them for, for right now. We wanna loosen them in a star pattern. Um, so it would be something like one, two, three, four, uh, just to distribute that, uh, that uh, kind of evenly. So next step is to get in here and just loosen these just a little bit. So let's do that now. Um, now, to loosen these, you can try just kind of leaning into it. And in this case, it worked. But in a lot of cases, that may not, that may not actually work. And so what you may have to do, is a little pro tip here, is if you can't get it off, use your, use your foot, use your whole body. So stand on that sucker, just like that. And if they're on there tight, that's gonna give you a little bit of an extra, extra edge, extra helping hand. Okay, so we'll loosen the others. Yeah, see, that guy's on there tight. So, there we go, much easier. And fourth and final. All right, lug nuts are loose, and again, we're not removing them, we're just loosening them. Now, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna position the jack. So, because I happen to know where the jack point is on this car, and a lot of times it's gonna be similar, it's usually gonna be somewhere near the tire that you're replacing, okay? Um, in this case, there's a very small patch, a very small section that's reinforced. And so, the reason I have this piece of wood, um, this isn't necessary, but if you're using a jack on cement, you, know, you think about the amount of weight that's on that jack, that can cause the jack to settle into the cement, and, and that's not ideal. So if you have the ability to use something like a, just a, a board or a piece of wood or something like that to throw under, that's just gonna help distribute that load a little more evenly, okay? So, next step is to position our jack in the right spot. Now we get dirty. Oh, God. This car is so low to the ground. All right. So our jack is in the right spot. this doodad <laughs> whatever it is and uh, now we get it we're just gonna hook this in here and we're going to raise the car by turning it clockwise so you can still just see the car is gonna raise ever so slowly and if your tire is flat this tire obviously is not flat but if your tire is flat you want to realize that when you replace it with a tire that's full of air, um, chances are it's going to need a little more room. So you want to actually jack this up so that there's about six inches underneath this tire. So we'll do that. Okay. Another super important safety tip that I didn't mention, but is really, 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 really important. With this jack, this is in no way safe for you to get under the car. Don't ever, don't ever get under a car that's on a jack like this. You don't have jack stands and you don't have it all properly set up. This is just a change of tire. This is not to get under your car and do work. So disclaimer, don't do something stupid and don't say I didn't warn you. All right, so we've got the car where we want it. We've got the lugs, lug nuts loosened, so now, we should be able to just go ahead and undo the lug nuts. So we're gonna remove these the rest of the way.
One other note I didn't mention when it comes to lug nuts. A lot of newer cars uh, will have a, a locking, like a locking lug nut. And um, that's to prevent someone from stealing your wheels, basically. So if you have that on your car, um, you won't just be able to freely remove all your lug nuts. One of them will be locked. And you need a, like a key or like a certain, um, can't recall the name of it off the top of my head, but you need basically a key to, to open that up. Now, most cars, again, that's gonna be in the trunk. Uh, you just wanna make sure, I would encourage you that if you, if you do have a, a locking lug nut, that you make sure you have that tool and you keep that with your car. Uh, because otherwise, in a situation like this, if you don't have that and you're on the side of the road, uh, and AAA is gonna be six hours to get to you, then you're gonna be waiting six hours. So, we'll go ahead and remove these. Again, we're just removing them in kind of a star pattern. Just makes life a little bit easier. It's five o'clock and it's sunny in Seattle today, which means that since we're all supposed to not leave our house, everyone and their mom is out and about right now getting some sunshine and walk in. So everybody's walking by me, looking at me like I'm an idiot for changing a perfectly good tire. But this is what we're doing. So we've got all our, all our uh, lug nuts are removed, okay? So now really it should be just as simple as grabbing a hold of the tire and it should right off just like that so at this point at this point you would go ahead and grab your spare tire and you would just reverse the process to put it back on so for uh, for our intensive purposes today we're just gonna go ahead and put this back on and we'll show you the steps in reverse so if you are putting your spare tire on by the way and you're not sure which way it should be oriented the, wherever the valve stem is, where you put the air in, make sure that's facing out. Should be pretty self-explanatory, but you never know. So, remount this. This can be a little tricky. Just gotta line everything up. Okay, now, again, what we're gonna do here is we're just going to Tighten these four lug nuts, just finger tight. We don't want the tire to come off the car, but we're not gonna, we're not going to actually tighten all these quite yet. Again, we'll go star pattern. title this video watch Jeff screw <laughs> <laughs> the look on her face priceless <laughs> I get bad dad joke ideas everywhere I go all day every day never stops does it Bit of a process just getting everything to seat right and I would like to take this moment to also tell you that you're not properly working on a car unless you're bleeding right you just it's not how it works it's like what's this red stuff on the <laughs> on the wheel oh I'm just gonna go ahead and give these a little, just a little helping hand here. Again, not tightening them yet. Just uh, so they don't move around. Okay, so this is back on. Now what we're gonna do 
is we're just going to lower the jack, lower the car. We're not gonna lower it all the way yet though. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lower it until the tire is touching the ground, but the full weight of the car is not yet back on the ground, okay? Um, and then at that point, we'll go ahead and tighten them the rest of the way. So, I'm gonna put our doodad back in the thingamajig. <laughs> and just gonna go the opposite way, counterclockwise. Just slowly lower the car back to the ground. Okay, so the tire is now touching the ground. Uh, the full weight of the car is not yet on the tire, but now we're gonna go ahead and tighten this up a little bit more, and then we'll, we'll tighten it up even more at the very end. So, if you are doing this by hand like I am, you really don't have to worry about over-torquing these lug nuts. Uh, over-torquing meaning tightening them too much, uh, because it's gonna be really hard to tighten them too much by hand. Okay. So those are on there pretty tight. Now, we will fully lower the car. Car's back on the ground. Last step. It's gonna be just to tighten these all the way, as much as we can. Basically, give it everything you got. There's probably chiropractors watching this and they're gonna yell at me for not doing this. Right. Just want to make sure these are really tight because uh, you don't want your tire to fall off as you're driving down the road. I think we just changed the tire. That's it. That's all we got. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us. We appreciate it. We will be back with more adulting 101 classes. Uh, do we know what the next one is yet? No. We've got some ideas. We may be something about how to keep plants alive. Uh, but you guys let us know what you want to see. And, and we'll do it. And... Uh, so just let us know in the comments. Again, thanks for joining us and uh, have a wonderful evening. Stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, good night.